everybody, it's Mrs Moore again. I've come to read you another story today called The Detective Dog by Julia Donaldson. Here we go. There once was a dog with a keen sense of smell. She was known far and wide as Detective Dog Nell. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Time after time, now the detective solved crime after crime. Who threw the hazelnuts down from the trees? Who took the honey away from the bees? Who did the poo on the new gravel path? How did the spider get into the bath? Sniff, sniff, sniff. With a wag of her tail, now the detective was hot on the trail. Now shared her house with a person called Peter, a very nice child, though he could have been neater. And six-year-old Peter was one of those boys who kept on mislaying his clothes and his toys. Sniff, 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 nose to the ground. These are the things the detective dog found. The bus in the bowl and the book in the bed, the sock in the sofa, the shoe in the shed, the tumble-down teddy, the bounce-away ball. Now the detective discovered them all. I wish my dog was as good at finding things as now. My dog's good at finding fox poo to roll in. Mm. Now, now did detection from Tuesday till Sunday, but did something totally different each Monday. She found Peter's bag and she tracked down her lead, then set off for school where she heard children read. The children love reading their stories to now and now love to listen and also to smell. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Mixed in the air were plasticine, custard and newly washed hair. The crusts in the bins and the coats on the hooks but the best smell of all was the smell of the books. Lots of children at the library reading. Books about dinosaurs, books about knights, books about planets and meteorites, books about princes who turned into frogs, books about dragons and books about dogs. But then came a Monday when all was not well. Now sniff the air. And she smelled the wrong smell. <gasps> Wonder what she smelled. Could it be something dangerous? <laughs> Into the classroom, the two of them hurried and found Mr Jones looking terribly worried. He tugged out his hair and he let out a sigh. Peter looked round and he started to cry. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What was going on? The books, cried out Peter. The books have all gone. Oh no, somebody's taken all the books. Nell gave a growl when she heard the bad news, but then started sniffing and searching for clues. Sniff, 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 on the bookshelf, a cap. The thief must have dropped it, the terrible chap. Nell sniffed the cap, then she tugged on the lead, and woof, she was off at astonishing speed. <gasps> Is Nell going to find the thief? Everyone followed Detective Dog Nell. She stopped at the traffic lights. What could she smell? Sniff, 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 haddock and hay, pizza and penguins. And further away, the smell of the thief. And how very exciting. Thousands of pages, all covered in writing. Then woof, they were off with no time for a stop. Past the farm and the zoo and the takeaway shop. They raced through a field where the rabbits smelled good then over a golf course and into a wood. They thrashed through the undergrowth, leafy and dense, till they came to a gate in an old wooden fence. Then Nell started growling and pricked up an ear. She barked and the bark meant, the thief is in here. They flung the gate open and Peter cried, look, for there sat a man with his nose in a book. There were many more books poking out of a sack and the children yelled, those are our books, give them back. Sniff, sniff, sniff. The book thief looked sad. I'm sorry, he sniffled, I know I've been bad. Stealing is wrong, but I just meant to borrow. I was planning to give all the books back tomorrow. To, to borrow, to borrow, 
Nell pricked up an ear. She barked and the bark meant, I've had an idea. Nell is a very clever dog. Then woof, she was off and away they all sped, including the book thief who told them, I'm Ted. Sniff, 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 they raced through the wood and over the field where the rabbits smelled good. They panted and puffed past the takeaway shop, the zoo and the farmyard with never a stop, except to retrieve Peter's scarf and his ball, which someone had thoughtfully placed on a wall, till they came to a building with doors open wide. And what did they see when they all went inside? A place where you can borrow books. Thousands of books from the floor to the ceiling. The books gave the thief the most heavenly feeling. He gazed in amazement. Where am I? He said. And Peter replied, in the library, Ted. You can join if you want to. There isn't a fee. And then you can take lots of books out for free. It'd be lovely when the libraries are open again. And so Ted has a lovely new library card and he sits reading books in his little backyard. And when it's a Monday, Detective Dognell visits the school with a wonderful smell. Sniff, 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 with a faraway look. She smells and she listens to book after book. Books about dinosaurs, books about knights, books about planets and meteorites, books about princes who turn into frogs. Books about dragons and books about dogs. All the old books and a new one as well. The story of daring detective dog Nell. Thank you for listening. See you soon.